we saw this really great spike in excitement um, and love and passion with Captain Marvel. And it really sort of inspired us to, to do more because we knew there's a fan community out there that's activated. We can create more content for them. You know, Captain Marvel was sort of that signpost of change. I had a conversation with my old boss. We were talking a lot about my childhood and talking about sort of the experiences I had, how I went to prom in like a piece of cloth I had wrapped around myself because I couldn't find any clothing that was appropriate for a young Muslim woman to wear to prom. Prom, which by the way, I went by myself because I was not allowed to date. And running, like doing track while I was fasting and just, he was just really interested in like the fact that like I lived such a distinct experience that not many people really talked about. And he walked in and he's like, you know, I was really thinking a lot about, you know, your stories and, you know, it would be great if we had like a character that was based on, you know, on you, based on like the young sunnas of the world. And I was like, are we allowed to do this? Like the, this is the concept. I didn't think anyone would be interested. And he was like, let's do it. We went straight into pitch mode, and the first person that I thought of was G. Willow Wilson, who was a comic book writer and a novelist and a Muslim. She called me out of the blue, and she said to me, hey, we want to create a new young American Muslim superheroine and put her on her own ongoing series. Do you want to write this book and help develop this character? And I was pretty convinced that they were joking. <laughs> because I said, there's no way that you ran that past, you know, Marvel Comics. So they said, yes. How often does that happen? I didn't say yes right away to be called up by two editors at Marvel and told, yes, we want to put a Muslim editor and a Muslim writer on a book about a Muslim character. I was like, you're going to have to hire an intern just to open all this hate mail. <laughs> you're gonna, like, it, it just seemed like waving a red flag in front of all of the people who thought that um, people like me and Sana should not be in comics at all. But Sana was so driven about this series. She was so prepared to usher it through, to make sure that it was done right, to oversee all the nitty gritty, to run interference if necessary, that I was just kind of swept along. I was like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're this committed, I'm this committed. Let's do it. <laughs> 